The new X-Men 97 cartoon is out. I've seen the first two episodes so far and I love it a lot. And that got me back into wanting to finish up this series of desol shading videos. So I have Jubilee here, who is one of the last ones that I have not desol shaded yet. And that's what we're gonna do. So I do have a whole playlist of desol shaded videos that I'll link right here. But the gist of it is that we are going to be using this product, which is an acrylic brush cleaner. Links will all be below in the description. And so the reason why you want to use this is because it should give you the same level of paint removal properties that acetone would without also being as corrosive as acetone can be. Now, using this doesn't mean that there's no possibility of corrosiveness, but if you use the techniques I show you in this video, you shouldn't have a problem. Now, some of you are going to say that you have no problem using acetone, and that's great. And I know that that's very possible for a lot of people out there, but this video is intended to be very beginner friendly. And I don't think there's anything more friendly than using the brush cleaner that I have. So that's what we're going to use. And besides that, we need a, a bowl to put the brush cleaner into. We're going to have a bowl of water as well to wash off any residual uh, cleaner. As far as actually uh, applying and getting the paint off, we're going to be using a combination of regular cotton swabs as well as pointed cotton swabs. And then of course you're going to need some paper towels. So with that in mind, let's take a look at Jubilee. Now Jubilee is going to be one of the more complicated figures that we have to do because she actually has a lot of different colors on her, but it shouldn't be too bad. Let's start from the bottom and you'll see that we have some darker blue on her blue boots, but the boots appear to be molded in blue plastic as far as I can tell. It's possible that they aren't, but it's really unlikely. Moving up, her skin is all one color, so we're not worried about that. But when we get to her jorts, we can see that it's the same thing with the, the boots where she has the blue jeans, but then we do have some darker blue on here. And then we do have a black belt here, so we will wanna be careful with uh, our application so that we don't accidentally wipe off the black. Now, moving further up the body, we can see that her torso is the same situation where her shirt is pink, but then the side has red over there and nothing on that side, so we're okay there. But again, we've got a little bit of yellow here, and that's far enough away from here that it shouldn't be a problem, but just something to keep in mind. Now, both her gloves and the jacket also have paint on them that we're gonna re wanna remove. Now, as far as I can tell, this part of the arm is actually made of yellow plastic, and that this flesh color is actually painted on. So removing this yellow down here shouldn't be that much of a problem. But again, this part we wanna be careful not to uh, touch with our brush cleaner. And I believe that's the same up here. I believe this is a yellow piece and it shouldn't be that much of an issue to remove that paint. The jacket we're going to remove uh, to make it easier. And that should be a pretty easy removal of the paint on the jacket. She does have shading on the glasses. I'm not gonna remove that because I think that actually looks cool. So I'm gonna leave that on there, but you should be able to remove that very easily. And then the blue you could remove, but that's more of the design on the glasses. So I would recommend not removing that at all. However, looking at her alternate head, you can see the same shading that's on the sunglasses again. While it may be possible to do, you might also end up messing up. The issue with these sunglasses is that they're part of the mold itself, and the mold is this flesh color. So if you go too deep into it, then you're gonna get down to that flesh color, and then it's gonna definitely look off. It might be possible to do it, but I don't know how thick it's gonna be painted on there. So I was able to do that with the cell shaded Spider-Man because that was really caked on and you know, being really gentle, that was possible to do. This one actually seems quite a bit thinner with the pink paint. So I'm hesitant to do it on this one, but uh, maybe we'll take a shot and see what we get. So first, like I said, I'm gonna take off the jacket just cause that's gonna make things a little bit easier. And you shouldn't need any hot water to do this. You should be able to just uh, get the point the arms towards the back and then pop off the jacket. And there we go. And you know what? Since I already have the jacket off, we're just gonna do that first because that should be pretty easy to do. So we just have this part and this part to worry about. And there you have it, very straightforward indeed. You can see that I did dip it in the water. When you do it, you wanna actually like rub your finger where you had applied the chemical because it is an oily substance, so it can stay on. So putting it in there and just letting it soak won't really be enough. So you wanna get it in there, kind of rub it off and then dry it off as well. Uh, moving on to the figure itself, we're gonna be doing our boots first.
And there you have it. Here's a comparison of our paint removed on this side and then the paint still existing on this side. And there's a reverse. So you can see that the paint has been removed and it's pretty easy and straightforward to do. So let's go ahead and finish that one up and then we'll move up to the jeans. All right, boots are completely done. Now moving up to the jorts, uh, again, we've got the black belt on there, which could be problematic. So as you can see, there's a bit of dark blue above and of course the dark blue below. So there are a couple of ways you could tackle this. You could not worry about it and paint it over with black. It's easy to paint black. It's hard to paint kind of anything else if you're not very uh, comfortable doing it, but painting black isn't too bad. But I also know that not everybody wants to do that. So we're gonna try a product that I've been wanting to try for a while. I have this liquid mask thing where the idea is that you put it on the part that you don't want to get painted on or off of, and then you can kind of go nuts and then when you're done, you peel it off and then you're good to go. So let's see how well this works. So I just spent like 20 minutes trying to figure out how to use the liquid mask and it didn't go well. And so with that in mind, I'm gonna go ahead and just try to keep this very, very simple. So in order to remove the blue paint around the black belt, I'm gonna just go in very carefully with a pointed cotton swab and take my time to just try to get every last bit of it and then move down towards the rest of the blue paint. So unfortunately just enough of the brush cleaner I got on the belt that some of it rubbed off. So again, that's the part that you wanna be really careful with. But again, painting black isn't too hard to do. So if you end up removing some of the black, I wouldn't worry too much about it. But I'm still gonna go ahead and try to be careful with removing uh, it around the black to keep it as intact as possible. Okay, there's the blue removed from the jorts, but unfortunately you can also see how much black was removed from the belt. So I will go ahead and tackle that in a later part of this video, but let's go ahead and get the rest of the paint removal done before we tackle that. So for now, we're just gonna move up the torso and get all of this red off. The next thing you're gonna to need to be careful of is the neck. The neck is the same mold as part of the upper torso, and the upper torso is this pink color, not the flesh color. So that means that that is painted on, so you gotta be really careful around there when you're removing the red part around the shoulder area. I'm calling the red part done. I think that is pretty good and cleanly removed. You can see some of it got on the arm over here, but I'm not worried about that since we still have to remove the paint from the arms. So we're gonna tackle this whole arm and then we'll do this whole arm and then we're just about done.
arms are done. I'm pretty happy with how those turned out. Those are fairly straightforward to do. Now, all that's really left is to tackle this belt, and I'm gonna do that right now. I have a brush, and I've got paints on it. I'll have links below. And let's see, I've got just a little more smudge right there that I'm gonna to touch up as well. And there you have it. Now it still does need a dry, but I'm pretty happy with that touch up. Uh, it was fairly straightforward. Like I said, on action figures, black is generally just black. So you can apply and just, you know, you're good to go. I had a little bit on the uh, belt right there that I also needed to touch up. And like I said, I also touched up that backside, which now you can't really even tell that I needed to do that. Let's get her jacket back on. And here are the results. Uh, I got pretty much all the paint off. Uh, you can't really see any paint left on there from the cell shading. And I think that turned out really well. Now I know I didn't do the head. I kind of don't want to, but if you really want to see me do it, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise you should really check out the Magneto helmet video because it was really fun to wear.